What is going on everybody? Got a quick video for you here. Today I'll be doing an unsponsored review of the new Astro C40 gaming controller. This is a third party PC and PS4 device made by Astro Gaming. The same company that brought you the highly coveted Astro A40 and A50 gaming headphones. So you know these people are in no way gaming casuals. Therefore, considering their reputation, this controller is destined to become a staple in the PS4 community. It was released on Monday of this week and has already sold out at many locations. Considering the $200 price tag, it better be worth every penny. Also, it would be a travesty if I did not mention this controller is officially licensed by PlayStation, making it the best attempt at an Xbox Elite controller for the PS4 to date. Let's begin by unboxing and exploring the contents as well as the design of the controller itself. Inside of the box is a very well made travel case as well as a quick start guide and the controller's warranty information. Inside of the travel case is a 4 foot USB cable for wired connection, a USB dongle for a wireless connection, a screwdriver to remove the faceplate, as well as several types of thumbsticks in various sizes and designs. The controller feels well made and rests nicely in hand. It's light and has a nice smooth finish to it. It has hand grips but it's not pronounced and bold like that of a scuff controller. It's more subtle and natural, as if this controller came with my PS4. It's somewhat larger than a standard PS4 controller, but somehow not as heavy. The buttons are responsive and clicky without being loud and annoying in a cheaply manufactured way. The thumbsticks feel responsive and easy to manipulate. Everything is quite similar to that of a standard PS4 controller, with the exception of two buttons on the back and the hair trigger adjustments. The thumbsticks are removable while still having a kind of snap-on design so that they don't fall off while you're gaming. Now I must admit, I did some research on this controller before its release. The main selling point for me was the swappable mods. Astro has stated that the mods are swappable because if one was to become defective sometime down the road, you could easily replace that mod rather than buying a new controller. I'm sure we've all experienced the drifting thumbstick before, so it's great to know you can replace a broken part if needed. But one of the benefits of this is the ability to change the location of the thumbsticks in general, giving you the ability to have the same offset layout found on Xbox controllers and the like. As a former Xbox gamer, this is a welcome feature as it's probably the one thing I miss about Xbox. Removing the plate is pretty simple and effortless. Just about three turns of each screw and the faceplate comes right off. The mods themselves are not screwed in, but are enclosed and self-contained. There is a kind of specific way for everything to fit into each space, so you can tell this is meant to be extremely user-friendly so that anyone would feel comfortable doing this. Even the most casual gamer would not find this stressful. Everything goes back together fairly easy, and here we are. I must say this is by far the best answer to a Xbox Elite controller I've seen in a while. With the exception that you have the option to set up the thumbsticks however you would like. Whether parallel or offset, that is freedom to choose and that is a big plus in my book. This controller does have PC software that you can download from the Astro website. This allows you to update the controller's firmware, set up gaming profiles, remap all your buttons, choose your desired sensitivity levels, as well as a host of other options. And the ability to do all of this on screen, then just simply sync to the controller is amazing. Since this is a competition level controller, it's meant to be played wired, which is how I will be using it. Now, if you have a PS4 Slim or you are tight on USB ports, know that regardless of how you want to play, wired or wireless, you will need an open USB port. That being said, it's pretty much plug and play. The quick start guide is super simple to read and the PS4 easily recognizes it as an approved device. Now I have to admit, I was searching hard for some negatives here and I'm drawing a blank. This is a completely unbiased and unsponsored review, but I like this controller. The only drawback is the price, but you get what you pay for. Overall, it seems that Astro has created something special as it almost feels as if this is my standard controller, except I have buttons in places I did not have buttons before, making it easier to keep my left thumb on the thumbstick as much as possible. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about this controller. If you are considering getting this controller, also, how would you go about setting up your thumbsticks? Parallel like on PS4 or offset like on Xbox? I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.